Hello everyone. So for today, um, as part of the Getting Better at Drawing series that I'm doing, I'm going to talk about the art books, um, both inspirational and instructional books that I have. And then at the end, I'm going to talk about my top three favorite books for beginners, like uh, those who are just getting into drawing. So I'm going to start off first with what's here at the bottom. So this is the... Uh, Uh, house moving castle storyboard book uh, which I got from Amazon Japan oh just also to to warn you guys I'm just gonna go through them briefly because uh, there's quite a few of them and then it's later on at the end I'm gonna talk about my favorite ones uh, the John Singer Sergeant books on uh, portraits that he did of his uh, friends Figure drawing by Michael Hampton. The Art of Spirited Away. Um, pretty self explanatory. All right. The workbook for the drawing on the right side of the brain and I have the actual book in here Drawings of Van Gogh Beginner's Guide to Landscape Painting This one actually my sister bought this a long time ago and I took it from her because I don't think she was using it so and this one is uh, on Picasso also I just want to tell you guys I do love all these books so um, if you get any of these books um, I have I, you actually can't go wrong. I think they're they're all great. Uh, this is actually a magazine, Practical Painter, and oh, I can't remember what issue this is now. But this is a great magazine because it talked about different mediums, um, oil, acrylic. Watercolor, I believe. Yeah, stuff like that. Faces Magazine. Just different mixed media artists uh, talking about their techniques for doing faces. Drawing Anatomy by Barrington Barber and I actually have another book of his which I think is exactly the same this one right here and uh, these two books are Andrew Loomis books that um, I have a PDF copy of Actually, I have all of uh, his books on PDF, but these are the ones that I printed out and had bound together. This one's fun with pencil, and this one is successful drawing. How to Draw Comics, The Marvel Way by Stan Lee and John Buscema. This is actually my son's, but uh, I've used it as well, so. Pencil drawing techniques, edited by David Lewis. This is actually the very first art book I've ever bought uh, in uh, January 2001. 
מגרש. Keys to drawing by Bert Dotson. Fashion illustration by Anna Kuiper. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly, I hope so. Drawing the Head and Figure by Jack Ham. Color and Light by James Gurney. The Art Students League of New York on painting, which is basically a collection of uh, work done by the teachers at the at the school, I believe. Yeah. This was by Frederick Bowson. I love this one. How to Draw by Scott Robertson. And the next three are by Jane Davenport. Beautiful Faces, Whimsical Girls, which is more of a coloring book, and Fabulous Figures, which is a, a book on figure drawing. Sketchbook of Lowish. The Art Journal Workshop by Tracy Bunkers. This is the first book I, I've ever owned on art journaling and uh, I think I did all the exercises in this one as well. Manga art by Mark Crilly. This is not really an instructional. I know she he usually does instructional books, but this is more of a I think a stuff that he did. It's not really instructional, it's more of like uh, he's talking about what inspired him to do all this uh, illustration. Watercolor Basics by Sue Serene. And the next three are by Juliet Aristides. Uh, I just did a video on this. Um, a while back, so you guys can see that on the on my channel. Lessons in classical drawing. This is the um, latest one that she has. I just recently got figure drawing atelier and beginning drawing atelier. <clears throat> on my other video, I talked about how I did all the exercises in this one. And this too, you guys already seen the bearings and. Barber, bar, what barber one? Yeah, and Betty Edwards drawing on the right side of the brain, and the Betty Edwards book. Color, of course, in mastering the art of mixing colors. So just all about color theory. The Encyclopedia of Oil Painting Techniques by Jeremy Galton. Uh, 
drawing with pencils and pastels. This one I also got in 2001, I believe. So one of the earlier books I've owned. Daily painting by Carol Marie. Harold Speed's uh, oil painting techniques and materials. I also have uh, his book on drawing in my phone. I can't remember the title now. Artist Handbook, also one of the first books I bought <clears throat> when I started drawing. And this one is a uh, just a general uh, book on the different mediums as well and it has several exercises that you can do. Notebook. Notebooks of Leonardo da Vinci. And uh, there's one up here that's art related. Uh, the Group of Seven, and Tom Thompson by David Silcox. So just basically talking about the the Canadian painters known as the Group of Seven. And um, I think there's one more I'm missing on oil painting, but I'm going to be talking about that. Uh, in the next part of the video where I'll talk about my favorite ones. Alright, I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, so uh, right now I will be talking about my top three favorite books for beginners when it comes to drawing. Um, I do feel like a, I'm like the perpetual... Oh, let me put that away. I'm like the perpetual beginner when it comes to drawing, so uh, I thought that's the, the the books I'll be talking about. So the first one is uh, Figure Drawing, Design and Invention by Michael Hampton. This is a really great beginner book for, um, for anyone wanting to get into um, figure drawing, basically. Uh, he really uh, delves into into how to draw the figure from the simple steps which is basically doing them as uh, shapes first and uh, and then going on into anatomy and uh, he even has a uh, exercises that you can do page 50 where he tells you um, different exercises you can do in terms of uh, forms uh, the here one here is a warming eh? sizes of spheres, accuracy of ellipses, and stuff like that. And then drawing the head, and then drawing the body, different parts of the body. I really love this book. It actually this stays in my uh, night table. And second book I highly recommend is Keys to Drawing. Um, this is another book that's highly recommended and for a good reason. It's been around for a long time, but um, the principles that Bert Dodson talks about really hasn't changed. It's still, it's, it's a, this is a classic, basically, because, um, <clears throat> oh God, sorry guys. Because the steps he talks about really helps you to, to, um, like in the beginning, uh, how to see everything just as simple shapes. I actually really like this book better than the Betty Edwards drawing from the right side of the brain. I feel like with the exercises here, you, you get to uh, really improve your drawing a lot faster. But the, the Betty Edwards book is great as well. But this one, I really, I just really prefer it. And here's a section on perspective, which is very important. And really, you can't go wrong with any Andrew Loomis's book. So for my third choice, I picked Fun With Pencil. This is really the 
very basic um, book that he has on drawing. I think it's actually meant for kids, but um, still a fun read. I, I think I also did the exercises here, but <clears throat> Loomis is really just great in um, in simplifying, like uh, the steps. I think I don't know. Sorry, guys, I'm not really good at explaining stuff. <clears throat> but um like this one the divided ball and plane method that's such a great section how he just breaks down everything so clearly okay and um i know it's uh i did say i'm gonna talk uh just about the beginner stuff for drawing but i thought i'd mention anyways another book i love is the oil painting course you always wanted by kathleen loken steiger um this is such a great book for anyone interested in oil painting or even acrylic this is another book where i did all the exercises and uh to this day the way she arranges her color palette is how i do my color palette when it comes to oh my god is that in focus yeah okay sorry how I do uh, oil painting there's also a sh short section on drawing in the very beginning and then uh, she goes into drawing uh, different techniques when it comes to oil painting she starts off with still life I believe and then landscape and then the last one actually the last one I haven't done which is a portrait section yeah but you can tell like it's uh like this book is really like used because um this actually stays in the basement where i do most of my oil painting because that's where i had my i have my setup so so i thought i'd do an honorable mention for this book so anyways that's it i hope you guys like this video and as always, if you have any questions, just feel free to comment down below. And if you did like this video, please don't forget to press the thumbs up button. Okay, thank you. Bye.